unless we have a population that's really informed about environmental change and the crisis from the, well, the, the, climate, the climate is just one of these, although I have to say that if we don't get that right, nothing else really matters, but we have all other sorts of environmental issues that we need to deal with. And unless we have people who are interested and care about it, it's not going to happen. So it's in our best interest to bring everybody into this tent, as many as we can, um, because one thing about the environment is I can't have a separate one from you. I can kid myself and think, well, you know, my air-conditioned car doesn't matter how hot it is outside, or I can be in my estate in, uh, anybody here live in Weston? <laughs> Nobody here lives in Weston? The, my estate in Weston? Um, but the fact is, this air we're breathing, we all share that. This water that you might have had tonight when you came in, um, those molecules have been recycled on this planet over and over and over again. It's the same stuff. So if you want it clean, you've got to keep it clean. If we're going to have a city, we're going to have a more crowded city. We're going to have more people in this city. It ain't going to work to have cars move us around. So we need more walking. We need more biking. We need uh, better transit to ride if it's a longer distance. Um, and those facilities have to be first class. And this transportation, by the way, should be free. It should be offered free, just like the parks need to be free. Because uh, the investment that we're making by having them free really pays off because we're going to connect this next generation to the land. And then the other thing that I would suggest you consider is expanding what's become the community garden movement here to make sure that every school has a working garden. Every kid should understand that food does not come out of a cellophane bag, but is grown. Almost. I looked up one day in 1989 and I said the environment is the best story going was because of my exposure. And it started, you know, whatever. I mean, three, four, five, whatever, um, that I was getting outside and having the outside space and seeing that in fact you could. Uh, there are all kinds of creatures. I love the giraffes in the park. I love the. <laughs> but the ordinary places were great fun. And uh, there's plenty of time, we're not out of time yet, um, to do this, but we don't have much time to do it. So uh, I'm pleased that the park paradigm here is being, is being taken beyond the swan boats, although I love going to them too as a kid, beyond the formal spaces, beyond, you know, we're down in the, car, the garden and the common and all this kind of formal stuff, and out into the neighborhoods. Um, I'm thrilled what you're doing with the kids, with the bikes, with, now you have the gay houses become a center. My only disappointment is, is that um, I'm not getting an emerald necklace. <laughs>